So in this video, I'm going to be going over the fingerings for the group one major key arpeggios. So group one scales or keys that we talked about earlier are um, C major, G major, D major, A major, E major, and B major. So when we play arpeggios, one thing I want you all to keep in mind is that for the right hand, all of the fingerings are the same. So in this case, they're giving you two octaves. So it would sound like this for C major, C arpeggio. So they give you the fingering for two octaves here. If we were just doing one octave, it would be Basically, it's the, the one three five of the chord, one three five of the chord with the octave. So back to the fingering. The right hand is always going to have the same fingering for these group one arpeggios. So if you notice, basic fingering is one two three, and if we're doing two octaves, it'd be one two three, one two three five. For G major, same fingering, one two three, one two three five keep going down for a D major. Even if you have a black key, it would still be one, two, three, thumb under one, two, three, five. So keep that in mind. For group one fingerings, for basically all of these white keys fingerings, it's the same in the right hand. For the left hand is where it changes a bit. So for C and G, it's gonna be a five, four, two, looks a little bit like this. So I mean let, let me do C major. Five, four, two. And let's just do one octave. It would be five, four, two, one. And then same thing with G. Five, four, two, one for my left hand. And then when you get to the rest of them, so D, A, E, and B. They're all going to be 5, 3. And again, if that looks like for D, it would be 5, 3, 2, 1, so on and so forth. And the reason they do 3 is because there's a little bit easier time to play this because you have a big skip between your fingers versus if you try to stretch from 5 to 4, that's a really big gap, so it might feel uncomfortable. So it's a little easier to play at 5 and 3 instead, so that's why they have it that way. Okay, so I'm going to go over the group 1 arpeggio fingering for each hand slowly. I'll just do one octave first, and then I'll show you two octaves with the expanded keyboard. So if we do one octave, just imagine all these 1s on the top are going to be 5s for the right hand, and for the left hand, it's just going to end on a, a 1 like they have here. So we're just doing one octave. So you can take out your fingering sheet and follow along. So basically for one octave in C major, we have the notes C, E, and G, and then octave. So it would be 1, 2, right hand go. 1, 2, 3, 5. Same thing for G, same fingering, but now we have different notes. The fingerings would be G, B, D. Right, the triad and then the octave. So G major arpeggio fingering would be one, two, three, one octave. Okay, D major. So D major, we have a black key, we have an F sharp. So D major is our triad being D, F sharp, A, right? So the arpeggio by itself would be, ready, go. One, two, three, five. A major. So A major has the same shape as D major. So we have a white key, 
black key, white key. In this case, we have a C sharp for your middle note. This is your A major triad. So A major looks like this. It's one, two, three, five. Ready, go. Also has the same shape. So in this case, we have a G sharp as our middle note for one octave arpeggio. And we have E, G sharp, B, and then E. So if we did E major, right hand, one, two, right hand, go. major. This time we have two black keys. So the notes for B major would be a B, D sharp, and F sharp. That's our basic triad. Then we have B on top. So B major would be one, two, three, five. Ready, go. That's the right hand group one arpeggio fingerings. So remember, right hand's always going to be one, two, three. You just have different notes that you have to pay attention to, which is basically the triad or the one, three, and five notes, the first note, the third note, and the fifth note of the scale. That's your basic triad, and then you end on the octave. So that's the right hand. Left hand fingering. Like I said before, it's a little different, so let's just do one octave. So left hand for C, if we started here and look at C, it would be five, four, two, one. So let's try that going up and going down. One, two, ready, go. G major has the same fingering, and we're just playing on G, B, and D, and then we have an octave G. So G major, five, four, two, one. Ready, G major. Five, four, two, one. G major, and then when we go to D and the rest of them, we have a different fingering, which is five. So that's our fingering, and remember, we have just the triad, D, F sharp, A, and then we have D as the octave. So D major, ready, go. Major has the same shape, same fingering. Five, three, two. And then the notes you have are A, C sharp, and E. So let's try that together. Ready, go. Five, three, two, one. Three, two. And then we have E major. So E major. Notes we have are E, G sharp, B, and we end on E. So let's try that. Five, three, two, one. Ready, go. And then lastly, we have B major. So in this case, we have a five, three, two, one, and the notes are B, D sharp, and F sharp. Our triad, and then we add a B at the top. So let's go over the fingering for that. Ready, go. Five. Is your one octave 
group one arpeggios. And I will just use the keyboard here and I'm going to play them one octave uh, with both hands. So let me switch to that. Okay, one octave, both hands. So using your fingering chart here, we're going to go from C, G, D, A, E, and B. One octave. Ready, go. It's one octave. So G major. A major. 